Hey everyone, this is Andrew at Plainview Farm. Uh, today's video is not the video that I intended to make. I've had to kind of shift gears here because of the weather. It has gotten uh, cold on me, uh, much colder than it was predicted. Uh, I was planning to do some work on my building project uh, to dig some footings and uh, pour a little bit of concrete, but uh, it's not gonna happen, it's too cold for that. Uh, about 10 degrees cooler than, than was predicted. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with the pigs here this morning and uh, I've got a really exciting announcement coming so uh, stay tuned for that. Ah oh, come on! Stop peeing in the feed! So as you can see here in the pig pen the ground is absolutely destroyed um, and we decided to go ahead and make this our sacrifice uh, pen or sacrifice pasture whatever you want to call it uh, for the pigs right now. Um, we may expand out and give them a little bit more space um, later on just so that they don't uh, get too carried away. But what we'll do is in the, the spring, whenever we get the pigs out of this spot right here, I'll come back with the tractor and I'll, I'll kind of uh, smooth the ground back over. Since it is so cold, I'm um, going to give the pigs a little bit more bedding. They absolutely destroyed, um, if you can see in there, absolutely destroyed. Uh, what I had it's it's all gone they've you know rooted in their in their little shelter there pigs pigs can't help themselves they have to root no matter where they are no matter what they're doing they they like to to make a mess that's just the way pigs are um, but I like them anyway so what I like to use for bedding for my pigs is hay a nice square bale of hay. Serves a couple different purposes. So pigs are definitely interesting creatures. They uh, are very curious about things. Um, they like to play with their food. And as you can see, they're already over here checking out this hay. Um, they, they're interested in all kinds of different stuff. They can't, they can't leave a uh, something new alone. So we're gonna throw this in here and I'm not really going to spread it out and let me tell you why. I'm not going to spread this out, this hay out, because the pigs are gonna do that job for me. As you can see, if you look in there, um, uh, this red pig right here, we haven't come up with a name for her yet. Um, as of right now, she's the one that impresses us the most. Um, so she may end up sticking around to become a sow. Um, she has a lot of a lot of very good characteristics that we like, um, which we can talk about that later on. But uh, if we keep her, uh, she'll end up with a name. Um, if you have any good suggestions, um, give me one in the comments below but anyway uh, they will they'll get in here and they'll kind of root around and pick at this hay uh, they will lay in it um, but they'll also eat some of it um, it'll provide them with a little bit of roughage I mean it's not going to replace a big part of their diet uh, because they they need high protein feed in order to to grow um, or they need some sort of pig feed. I mean, it, you know, high protein, you know, it, it varies, I guess, what, what some consider high protein. But, but they need a, a, a feed ration in order for them to, to grow out uh, the way that, that we want them to. Uh, but but they, will, they will snack around on some of this hay, uh, as well as bed in it and use it to keep themselves warm. Pigs that, uh, that are used to being outside in the dirt and the grass, uh, they're already going to have a taste for it. So, uh, as you can see, uh, like I said, the red one there, she's she's definitely interested in this hay. Uh, wants to know what's going on. Uh, wants to check it out. Actually, um, they've still got feed in their their little feed box. I haven't dumped any feed there in there for them yet. But but she's she's gone to the hay. Um, and exactly what she's doing there, she's eating it, uh, as you can see. Because believe it or not, pigs will eat hay. Uh, you know, there will be folks out there that will tell you, oh, no, they won't, they won't eat it. Uh, but pigs will eat just about anything. Uh, 
which is why you have to be be careful about what you do give them. I mean, don't feed them trash. Um, but uh, you, you want to feed them something something good because at the end of the day you are what you eat. But uh, uh, these pigs they will they will munch on that that mixed grass hay, which that's what it is. It's not necessarily a real high quality stuff. Uh, it's just a mixed grass hay. Uh, but she is absolutely going to town on it. Look at that. See, and that's that's what I was talking about. While the other two are over there uh, eating out of the the feed box, uh, she's over there digging in the hay, uh, which again. If we're raising pastured pigs, that's what we want. We want pigs that are interested in the grass. We want pigs that are interested in the forage. Uh, they'll they'll get what they need out of out of feed, um, but they're they're inclined to go after that kind of stuff first. And and she's she's digging in it. She's uh, looking around for the the stuff that she likes, and obviously she's finding stuff that she does like in there. So hopefully, you know, we keep her for a a, a sow. Um, along with you know some of the other things uh, that that we we like about her, um, you know whether it's her her body shape, her conformation, um, you know just some other habits that she has. She's she's very friendly uh, compared to the other two here, uh, which actually this black and gray one uh, that's a male. Uh, he's been castrated, but the other one there, the black one, is a female. Um, and she doesn't seem to exhibit the all the same traits. I mean, we, we haven't made up our mind completely on her yet, but um, but this red one we are we are very impressed with. We want her to to be a pasture pig. We want her to be the kind of pig that will teach those little piglets how to how to forage, how to root around in the pasture and, and find what's good. So, uh, like I said, she she exhibits. Uh, those traits very much so but as I said they they'll eat some of the hay they'll burrow into it to keep warm um, and I've, I've got another bale to give them uh, here in a few days when the temperature drops even further at the uh, the end of this week it's supposed to get really cold uh, the middle of the week supposed to warm up a little bit but again at the end of the week it's supposed to get really cold so I've got another another uh, small square bale set aside just just for these pigs huh back to the hay she had to go check out the feed box when the other two left it maybe they left her something really good in there but now nope, she's right back at the hay. You know, pigs really are interesting animals, as I said before. I uh, I get a great deal of enjoyment out of it. Oh, must have sucked up a sucked up a piece of hay in our nose there. But if you've not seen the other videos about these pigs, all three of these are a mix. Uh, they are half Mangalitsa, um, and then the other half is uh, red wattle crossed with a mule foot. So actually this red one, she does have wattles on her neck. I don't know. Um, she's kind of got them buried in the hay right there now, but but that's what these pigs are. These were uh, feeder pigs that I was able to find. Uh, feeder pigs have been hard to come by in my neck of the woods recently. Which that brings me to the exciting news that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, which is that I'm getting some more pigs. Uh, I don't know if I've said this in a, a previous video or not, but my preferred breed of pig is a large black. I just, there's so many things I like about large black hogs. And I found some large black Hereford cross pigs, uh, and I'm getting getting four of those, um, two uncut males and two two gilts, two females, and um, gonna see if if some of them might uh, end up turning out to be breeders. Um, we'll, we'll have to figure out pretty quick on the males because we will have to have to castrate them if we're gonna uh, if we're gonna process them, but. But I'm I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about the the prospect of of 
farrowing my own my own pigs, um, not having to buy feeder pigs anymore, which is what I've done for for several years now, uh, just simply because they were so plentiful in in this part of the country. Uh, but with you know with recent changes um, when it comes to feed prices and uh, the hog market, uh, just in general, uh, a lot of folks have have quit raising pigs uh, here where I'm at. So. Um, that's the exciting news. Uh, that's definitely a, a journey that, that you are invited to follow along. So we're going to get those pigs in about a week, or at least we're supposed to. We've got our name on them. Uh, they're, they're just now weaning. So uh, we're, we're really excited about that. And we'll definitely be sure to uh, uh, capture some video of, of that adventure. So, but again, appreciate y'all tuning in. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to know when we post a new video. We'll see you next time.